In this last movie on the Dope for A106-6 XP or Expander filter, we're going to cover those top four modes, notch modes and all pass modes, because they have a similar effect. In the previous movie, we talked about band pass modes, and what they basically do is restrict both the low harmonics and high harmonics to give you a narrow sound. Notch instead attempts to remove a narrow band of harmonics. And I'll show you a couple problems with using Notch. If we go ahead and have the full envelope there, switch up to say the two pole Notch setting, which says one pole of cutting low frequencies, one pole of cutting high frequencies. Go to the left switch position, turn a resonance down to begin with, play a note. In the spectrograph, we can see a clear hole in the harmonics. We can sweep it with the cutoff frequency. That notch is going to be much more prominent, believe it or not, if your resonance is turned all the way down. That creates the broadest, softest notch effect. The more you turn up resonance, the narrower and sharper that notch becomes, and the fewer harmonics it removes. For example, if I turn this up, you'll see that gap start to close up in the spectra. And although you can hear us go through the individual harmonics, it's easy to convince yourself it's not really working compared to low resonance settings, which take out a much broader swath of harmonics. That's the two pole notch setting. Two pole notch plus one pole of low pass says, let's take out more high harmonics. Apply an additional 6 dB per octave slope beyond the cutoff frequency to attenuate the highs. So, here's the normal notch, and here's 2N1L. Just dulls down the high end a little bit. Not a bad little bassy sound there. Maybe I'll crank up the op a little bit. Now, notch filters, when they're static, when they hit that sustain level, can be a bit boring sounding. What's interesting is when they're sweeping, when they're moving around, then you can really hear those harmonics being removed. You can do that a couple different ways. You can go for slower envelope settings, maybe even a slow attack. Or even better is to keep that cutoff frequency in constant motion so that you're constantly cutting out different harmonics. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab an LFO. I can grab one from our mother or one from our Roland ADSR LFO over here. Take the sine wave, put it into frequency CV2, and decide how much motion I want after I've hit that sustain level. There's the normal envelope sound. Let's add in more LFO. Turn up the frequency. Maybe turn down the amount. amount. Just a gentle drifting there. Notch filters behave as very, very simple phase shifters. If you want to go that way, well then the all-pass filter is for you. Because what all-pass filters do is not specifically cut high frequencies or low frequencies, they just change the phase of the audio waveform going through them, mix it back in with the original signal, and the result just the different phases cancel out specific frequencies or harmonics. I'll move up initially to this three-pole all-pass filter. Now we're getting a little bit of a phase shifter sound, particularly if I pull the frequency down. Tune it to match the harmonics in my sound. Some resonance. 
this like feedback on a phase shifter. And if that sound is too bright, too many high harmonics are getting through, you can switch it to 3A1L, which is a three pole all pass filter, a phase shifter, and then a one pole low pass filter. Pull up the cutoff. higher frequency there, or very slow. Indeed, you can use an all-pass filter as a poor man's phase shifter, and use this not as a filter, but as an effects unit after your normal filter. So let's do some quick repatching here. I'm going to go ahead and take my mixture waveforms. Instead of running it into the doper filter, let's run it into the external audio on the Moog and turn the mix over and run it through the Moog's filter. Then let's take the output of, let's say, the VCF right there, even before the VCA, put that into the expander. Take our envelope out of the expander filter and instead run it to the cutoff frequency right there of the Moog filter. So let's try to tune in the sound. go ahead and put sounds through the Moog. There's the zone oscillator. There's the two oscillators mixed together. Then treat this as the phase shifter after the Moog zone filter. Maybe turn the resonance down for now. the app a little bit. If we don't want the high frequencies cut quite as much, we'll take the low pass, the L out of the equation. The more the Moog's filter sound through. A little faster LFO. Faster phase shifter. So this is quite a flexible little filter. It does have that Curtis sound, so it's going to be very smooth, not radical or aggressive or edgy. You can put it into resonance though, and you do get some fun effects out of the resonance as it tries to entrain itself to whatever sounds coming in and its harmonics. But it's also just a really good laboratory to precisely tune which harmonics you want to cut out of a sound, or just to learn what these different filter modes do. You can see why Dofer makes this the default module in some of their pre-configured systems. Thank you.